looks like we have a patient here for a checkup exam, fully detailed physical. Perfect. Let me write that down onto my noteboard as well. Hey, Candy. Yeah, I'm doing a physical. I'll tell you all about it afterwards, okay? Okay, good. Perfect. And do you have a patient as soon as well? Oh, you're gonna have so much fun. Yes, okay. So I'll have the front desk send my patient out immediately. Perfect. And oh my goodness. Hello there. Welcome to Dream City Clinic. I'm not sure if we've met before, but I am nurse. TMI. Oh, why do they call me TMI? What does it stand for? Oh, I'm, it stands for too much information. You'll find out very soon why they ask me to call me that. Yes, it's just because I ask a lot of personal questions, okay? And also, I saw that you were waiting in the waiting room for quite a while. I totally apologize. Instead of taking a 30-minute lunch, I took like a two-hour lunch. Apologize for that as well. Just please do not tell the doctor that, okay? I'm already on thin ice. You promise? Thank you, promise. I'm very good. Okay, so I have to start off. All information here today is between me, you, and the insurance book, which is on my computer. Is that cool? Good. And I do see you brought a parent or a guardian with you. Do you want them in the room with you today? Or we do talk about a lot of detailed and questionable things in this exam room because it's about your health. I'm going to ask you about your sleep schedule, about your workload, etc. And it can be a lot to say the truth, especially in front of a parent or guardian. Okay, I'll make sure that I let Candy know. Hey, Candy. Yeah, make sure the guardian doesn't come in here at all. Yes, please. All right, us nurses, we go by the code. What happens or what's talked about in the exam room stays in the exam room. Yeah, I just want you to feel safe. Also, I might tell you some secrets as well, so that stays here too. Yeah, okay, very good. Kind of like me being late. We're going to forget about that. Let's okay. start this exam. I am going to quickly get out of these dirty gloves. I'm just going to get a little bit of hand sanitizer on and ask you a couple of questions, okay? Yeah, so... These are going to get a little bit personal, as stated prior. But, how are you doing? Are you okay? Okay, and are you okay mentally more than just physically? Okay, it's okay to be honest. Sometimes I have days where I'm not really feeling the best, I'm going to be real with you. Yeah, any tummy issues? I did read on your chart that you may have lactose intolerance, or maybe that's gluten intolerance. Any problem with flatulation at all? Yeah, you know what that is, right? <laughs> you taught them, right? Yeah, okay. Very good. So, let me get some gloves on before we continue, okay? And, are you in school still? Do you work a job? What's going on with you? It's been a while since you've been around. Yeah. Any new friends, maybe? A best friend, maybe? A romance? What's going on on your horizon? Okay, I'm gonna need you to tell me everything, okay? I just write it on my chart just for information. Yeah, any new romances? Okay, you'll have to tell me in detail later. And just a quick double check on your report while I put my little gloves on. Let me get your name and your birthday again. I'll be looking at the chart right there. Okay, name's the same. Good. And looks like your birthday's the same too. Very smart. Yes. So, you can tell me anything you want. I'm just gonna carefully feel around your lymph nodes and genuinely around the sides of your face, okay? And I do see you have a little pimple right there. If you want me to put a little patch on, I can do that at the very end. Not that interested, that's okay. We'll still do it anyway, so I'm gonna feel your lymph nodes right here, okay? Can you swallow for me? Good. Okay, that feels fine. Put a bit of bread of pressure around your ears, okay? Can you hear that? Good. Okay, good. And then look at me. I'm gonna put a bit of pressure around your eyes. You look tired. Do you play a lot of video games or sit in front of a computer screen? Yeah, under your eyes. I can tell you've been playing a lot of Fortnite. Maybe it's a TikTok, maybe it's YouTube shorts, what is that? Yeah, that has some luxury baggage under your eyes, my friend. You're gonna need to write 
get some sleep. I'm gonna write that down on your report. <laughs> okay. Have you been listening to like a lot of podcasts lately? Yeah. What video games are you into if you're into video games? Oh yeah, I can tell. <laughs> you are wearing pajama-esque clothes. It kind of gives off the impression that you've been very tired recently and same. I literally just had a sandwich before this and I want to go to sleep for 18 hours, so real. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get a couple of your vitals first, okay, hon? And give me your hand first. We're gonna put this on your finger and we are going to get your oxygen levels. Okay, so finger please. Oh, your nails are gorgeous. Who does them? Wow, they're beautiful. I'm just gonna have you tilt your finger to the side. We're gonna hit the button and we're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one, and release. Oxygen levels at a 98. That is fantastic. Very good. Do you exercise often, love? How often are we talking? Are we talking maybe from the bedroom? You'd walk, maybe perhaps right when you wake up in the morning till you go to sleep at night. Are we talking 5,000 steps? Are we talking 10,000? Are we talking 100? For me, my average step per day is like some days it's 100 and some days it's 10,000. It depends on what I'm doing. So what's yours? Okay, better than nothing. That's what I always say. I'm going to carefully get your heart rate now. This is going to be freezing cold, by the way. There's going to be nothing I can do. And it's going to get pretty close to your neckline. Uh, and these kind of have a metallic type of smell. I apologize about that. It's just because they're freezing cold. And it might give you a shock at first. Just relax and breathe in and breathe out, okay? Breathe in and breathe out, please. Very good. Okay, do you have any allergies at all? Okay, do you have any allergies? 
allergies in general that I need to be aware of. Other than lactose, we could hear. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me know. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you just to say ah uh, for me. I'm just going to check right inside your, just till the back of your teeth over there. Okay. And then maybe just, we're going to check to see if you have any problems with anything in your mouth. Say ah, uh, please. Ah. Uh, very good. Okay. Your teeth also look to be in super good health. A little bit of dragon breath. Uh, let me get you a little candy. Okay. Which do you prefer? This one is lemon citrus. And this one is lime citrus. Okay. Now just chew that a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit of dragon breath. Okay. Very good. You're doing great. I'm going to get your pressure on your arm. This is probably one of the most, if anything, kind of uncomfortable exam parts. And then by the end, we'll just be asking you questions, okay? I'm going to put this armband around you and we're going to get your blood pressure. And it's just going to add a little bit of air to your arm. Let me know at all if it feels uncomfortable for you, okay? Good. around your arm now. So can you lift up just a little bit of your sleeve until right where the corner of your elbow is? Good. Oh my gosh. Beautiful muscles. You look amazing. Let's just apply the little armband on. Okay. And I'm going to ask you now just to relax and just breathe in and breathe out. Okay.
ask you a couple of questions before we begin onto the computer again. All this information is between me, you, and our insurance company. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what is your diet like? Again, I know you might be maybe lactose intolerant, maybe gluten intolerant. <laughs> yeah. So, what's your diet like? Are you eating a lot of fast food? Oh, no, me? My information that I'm writing down? It's nothing. Not at all. Not something at all. Regularly happen to use a restroom often for what I would say is number two. <laughs> okay, and how often would you say you do that? And do you happen to have a special friend? Yes, a special friend where you do friendly things with, like go to the movies together. Or perhaps you go to dinner together. Or maybe play The Sims together. You know, something maybe like, I don't know. Any of that? Do you know what I mean? Very good. Any of that? Okay, now, darling. I'm gonna ask you, are you someone who consistently follows a regimented day to day so you go to bed at a certain time you wake up at a certain time and then you either go to school go to work or maybe you follow a computer routine what does that revolve around okay and how often do you sleep at night okay we need to bump those hours up we need to bump those hours up i recommend asmr videos chef's kiss they're my favorite they help me go to sleep all the time and i also recommend like soundscape if you're a fan of like white noise that stuff is chef's kiss or if you're a fan of markiplier throw up some markiplier up <laughs> i know i am that man is beautiful that man is very beautiful okay now are you someone who takes a lot of time for yourself because i'm gonna tell you right now you deserve the most out of life do you take enough time to spend on yourself Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to ask you to add at least 30 minutes every single day of doing something specifically for you. Okay? Whether that be, I don't know, I'll give you some examples of playing a certain video game that's relaxing. Maybe if you're a really big fan of showers, take a really nice shower and relax. If you're a fan of books, read an amazing set of chapters out of your books. Or if you're a fan of cooking, cook yourself something special for you, like a little dessert. I'm telling you right now, 30 minutes every single day just for you helps your mental health a thousand percent. Okay, because I'm here for you. But at the end of the day, I can be as silly as I want, ask you all these questions, but I'm here for you, okay? Okay. And now one last question for you. Are you team Edward or are you team Jacob? That's what I thought. You looked like it. So, I'm gonna ask you now a couple of questions, and I'm gonna give you just a little tiny bit of a eye drop. I'm gonna take a look deeper into your eyes. Can you look up for me, darling? Okay, I'm just going to drop. And like there. And then I'm gonna ask you to blink for me. Blink for me. Blink for me. Very good. What this does is it actually helps your eyes get a little bit more sleepy because I'm going to get pretty close to them, darling. So, I have a ruler here in front of us. I'm going to point to two different locations, okay? You let me know when I point to a certain location. I'll tell you exactly which one. So, let me grab my little pen here. I'm putting the ruler up next to you now. This is point A. This is point B. Let me know when I'm hitting point A or point B. Are you ready? Let's begin. Point A or point B? Good, point B. Point A or point B? Point A, very good. Point A or point B? Point A. Point A or point B? Point B, very good. Now, I'm gonna do this again. I'll tell you the difference. I'm gonna move where I point. And you let me know which one is closer to point A or point B. Point A or point B? Good. 
point A or point B? Good. Point A or point B? Good. Point A or point B? Good. Very good. <laughs> I'm gonna tap around your eyes, okay? Let me know if you feel that. Do you feel that? Good. Tap on the side. Oh my gosh, you would have no idea what this patient, yeah. 